Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to change your Microsoft Passport details. Let's go to our computer and we're going to log in to Microsoft's Passport service, or they call it Live ID, by opening up our web browser. And we're going to go to www.passport.net. Now at this point you're presented with a sign-in option. Let's click on Sign In. So what I'm going to do from here, after I click Sign In, is I'm going to type in my credentials for a passport. Let me just log in here. Now, now that I'm logged in, uh, it gives me the option to change all of the settings on my account. I can change the credentials that I use, such as my email address or my password. I can change the security code that is used uh, on my account. And I can also view my unique ID for live. Uh, it's also going to allow me to set an alternate email address that is outside of Microsoft's network. Basically, just choose the option here that you would like to edit. You can also go to the Privacy and Security section, which allows you, uh, as previously, to reset my password. I can also report a security issue that I've encountered uh, by using my password. And I can look at Microsoft's privacy statement for how they're going to protect my information. I'm just going to go to the Reset Password section and show you, for an example, how you can change information. Let me click here on Change My Password. And of course, it's going to ask me for my existing password. And I'm going to type a new one. Now, I would suggest for passwords that you use a combination of uppercase letters, numbers, and some kind of uh, symbol. Uh, of some kind. And what that's going to do is uh, that's going to display here a password strength. This one is strong. And it's going to tell you uh, basically an indicator of how difficult uh, would that be to crack this password if somebody was to try to figure out what it was. So you want this to show strong and not weak. I would suggest that you have your password expire also. That way uh, if anybody does happen to get a hold of it, you actually have to reset it every 72 days. I'm going to click continue. Oh, and apparently the uh, password that I was using is too similar to my old password, so I'm going to actually come up with a new one here. It cannot uh, contain words or a combination of letters that were in your previous password. Now this is actually asking me to add an alternate email address because I don't have one set up. I'm just going to skip that step. And as you can see, my password has been changed. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just showed you how to change your Microsoft Passport details.